Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. When last we left off, uh, there was a large family feud involved, and I was just heading to the Jedi Council when Bastila decided she wanted to talk to me. So, we're going to talk to her. How can I help? Um, you look like something's bothering you? No, not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Um... Doesn't the bond mean my presence is necessary? Necessary, perhaps, but it is no guarantee of our success. I admit, I'm a little disturbed that such a bond could be possible in the first place. Uh. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Okay. Don't worry. These are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? Ah, uh, I'm a hut in human form, plotting to overthrow the Republic. Um, I'm a soldier. Good. On which planet were you born? Uh, I'm a Wookiee. Uh, Deliria? I don't know, somewhere in the remote system. Excellent. Your current age is? <sighs> Wasn't this all in my service records? Yes. Well, the truth is, I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. Oh, what'd you find out? You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to absorb. We can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. Hmm. That was a little weird, but... Okay. I mean, I guess that's just her way of trying to get to know someone. Which... Ugh. Uh, how do you know the council gave me a mission? So he's saying I just wanted to wish you well and to warn you to be careful because there's more dangerous things than the Sith. Uh, what are you talking about? So he's talking about dark animals and monsters that are trying to eat you. Why are you telling me this? Why are you telling me this? So, yeah, he's saying there's dark monsters out there that will eat the Jedi, and the Sith may have created them, and they feed on dark power, and all this other crazy stuff. I don't... I feel like he's just trying to scare me. Um, what is the Great Hunt? 
Ka chikun ita haldonga, i kinku no ba mulera chikun. Sleep. We ita nan dayata. Wata yuma wama huhu nandetik. Ah, shotung ni batoga. Runda di hodonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nunotek. So the Jedi killed these creatures? Ka chikun ita haldonga. I kinku no ba mulera chikun. Ka chikun ita haldonga. I kinku no ba mulera chikun. Slimo po donar di haldonga ku hunkabe. Ui ita nan dayata. Wata yuma wama huhu nandetek. Ka shatung ni patoga. Wanna goose ching palamule donke? Ah. Aww. So, one of these dark creatures, the Terranta, I don't even know, um, is said to live on Korriban and it was never exterminated. Uh, three Jedi were appointed to continue the work. So, three Jedi were appointed to go exterminate it. Ka chikun ita haldonga, i kinku no ba mulera chikun. Runda di haldonga kun hanka bi, wana kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nunotek. Tuk nin chatukun ne, ui ita nan dayata, wata yuma wama huhu nandetek. Ah, shatung ni patoga. Ka chikun ita haldonga, i kinku no ba mulera chikun. So, the three people died. They don't know what happened to them. Thanks for the warning. Ka chikun ita haldonga, i kinku no ba mulera. You're... Why is everybody being creepy today? Ugh, that was just weird. I, feel, I really do feel like he was trying to scare me more than he was trying to help. That's just weird and strange and odd and I don't like it. Hey, I completed the feud, but I couldn't calm them down. Rahasia Sundral and Shen Matali have come here seeking shelter against their families. The council has decided to give it to them. Thank you. Their love for each other was being denied by overly possessive parents. And we learned that it was only by your intervention that they managed to escape here. While it is regrettable that the fences between the families were not repaired, it is good that these two young lovers can live their lives free of oppression. Yay. I was expecting, you know, points or something, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go again and see if I can find Elise one last time before I give up and um the two of them might be in here I don't know ah uh, come on no no all oh, right I killed I killed the Mandalorian, so I need to go back outside to let the guy know that they are gone. Because I, I just did the teleport to the Jedi Enclave, so I didn't actually go through any of this. I was kind of hoping to talk to the two lovebirds again. Oh well. I don't think I've ever actually gotten to break the family feud between them. I'm not sure I've ever accomplished that. Can okay, come on, controls. We can we can do it for one day. We can make now this work. Now the Mandalorians know what it's like to be hunted. But now that you've killed some of them, they won't stop until you've defeated- Yes, yes, I fought and killed their leader. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. 
Here is the reward I promised you. What is it? Give me more. There's no need. No, please take it. This pitiful amount will never be enough for what you have done for me. Again, I thank you. I will be sure to tell the council of your great deed. Oh, and light side points. Interesting that you get light side points for that. So let's go talk to the council. Whoa! Now that I have killed the Mandalorians, because I don't know if he'll have anything to say about that at all. But I'm curious. Since you seem to be the one to speak to. You must not fail in your mission. Find no. beware the fate of the may the yeah. force. Yep, yep, yep. Don't care. Do you like me any better? I must congratulate you on your actions. You have saved Johanny and brought her back into the order. And have given us all great hope for your future success. May the force be with you as you continue your training. Oh, it sounds like you do. Alright, let's get going, because I think I'm done with everything now. Yeah, I don't... I can't find her! I can't find her. I don't know where she went. I don't know why I can't find her. I give up. Might be a game glitch or something, I don't know. I should talk to Candorus, I guess. Speak to Candorus. Yeah, what do you want? Ah, uh, I was wondering if you had any interesting stories. You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought, the enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. Um, is that why... Yo, know, I'm curious, why did the Mandalorians attack the Republic? The Sith came to us with an offer. To fight a worthy enemy in a battle that would be remembered forever. Win or lose, as long as the fight is worthy, then honor is gained. The glory at having triumph over impossible odds is what drives us. If there's nothing at stake, your possessions, your life, your world, then the battle's meaningless. We Mandalore take everything we are and throw it into battle. It's the true test of yourself. The battle against death. Against oblivion. But that just seems... Well, he's battling against it. Uh, and what are you doing now? The days of combat and glory and cheating death at every turn seem to be over now. I take what I can. Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were are a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. I can't seem... I don't believe I agree with your uh, life ethic there, Candorous. Seems a little... off. 
Ebon. We are on the Ebon Hawk and we can explore it finally. Candorus is hanging out in the engine room. Well, ooh, there's a workbench. Yay. I'm gonna walk around just because. Don't know what this is. It looks important. Oh, that must be engines. That looks like the center. Supplies? I will take them. Oh, it's an emergency, so I guess I won't take them. Yes. Every oh, it's empty. How about this one? Okay, they're empty. But we're gonna put stuff in it, right? Because one would think that would be important. Where's everybody else? I only found Candorous. Looks like beds to sleep in? T3, my little buddy. And looks like the medical bay. And of course the engine room. Johanny is hanging out in here. And we got Zalbar. T3. I'm missing Karth in mission. Here's Bastila. Oh, and there's Karth. This is the galaxy map. Alright. And when you're ready to leave, you can use the to travel around. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go. Um, but before we do, since we are on the Ebon Hawk and it's a perfect time to talk to people, um, I'm gonna talk to people before we leave. T3, I wanna talk to you. Oh, can you construct a pro programming spike for me? I don't know what that does, but that seemed important. So, yeah. Your beeps are loud. Oh, you can construct more for me. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. Um, he has nothing to say. Okay. Alrighty. Zalbar. I haven't talked to you ever. Um, can you help me with the problem I have? <laughs> Unless you want someone threatened or door bashed in, you should ask someone else. Um, and apparently he can make you grenades. <laughs> Made me a grenade. Um, I want to know a little bit more about you. He doesn't want to talk about it. Uh, you don't trust me? So he says that, um, he doesn't think I'll understand and the ways of his people are not for outsiders to know. Alright, I'll leave you alone. Got my grenade. Oh, I'm gonna go way over time, so let's travel somewhere, and then I will talk to people next time. How about that? Travel. Oh, we are on Tatooine. Um, what's this? Korriban. Manan. Where were we supposed to start? I don't even know. Bastila. How can I help? Uh, do you have something you want to ask? I do. How did you know? Your face is all scratched up. Uh, educated guess? I am a Jedi. I am far too disciplined to betray my emotions with outward physical displays. We both know the real reason you have some idea of what I'm thinking, the bond we share. Mm-hmm. Maybe. You still sound snooty. Um, yeah. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. 
what do you think I should do? I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I fear that won't be possible. Yeah, it doesn't look like Thankfully, it. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. Why are you getting so upset? I'll try. That's good to hear. Without the proper training, however, I'm afraid you will find the path difficult, even with the best of intentions. There is great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. Oh, well, it works both ways, doesn't it? You can help me stay strong. Yes, that is true. I will do my best to guide you, but I am no master. Not yet. And there are times when I find the sheer strength of your power almost overwhelming. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I would appreciate it. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. Okay. Um, I am out of time for this installment. And next time, we will leave. Thank you for watching.